And here we are back at it with the Vancouver Canucks at free agency after a, what was a pretty good draft year. And now it's time to take care of the rest of the offseason shenanigans. Now, there were no winners from the point scoring contest from last season, so no one's name to read off here. But that's okay. Hopefully, uh, best of luck to everyone in this coming season. So, before we get started, guys, go ahead, hit that like button for me. Keep the momentum of this series going now. Free agency. Couple people to get. First things first, we did need a goaltender. Now, I, I said I was going to get someone probably around like an 80 overall mark who could play up, play down, doesn't matter. Lankinen's not a bad bet. He's also cheap, not that that matters. We really only need someone for a year. So, yeah, let's just snag Lankin in here. Let's give him one, two, five. That should get him for a year. So, we'll grab Lankin in, and he could play AHL or NHL, whichever. Not a big deal. Now, when it comes to skaters here, I'm going to take one more look, but I think it's just basically one guy to maybe fill somewhere in the top six. And that's kind of uh, maybe uh, I need maybe, maybe some depth, but then again, we already have forty-two guys under contract. We don't want to take up too much space. We could just have a shit bottom six, which is not a bad idea. So yeah, we definitely need one guy to fill in somewhere in the top six. Yeah, we kind of. I mean, we could go, like, all these guys are done growing, so I kind of don't care. They can, honestly, this could be, uh, we do need a depth piece, though. Or someone to play depth. Did you set you can, but maybe grab a depth forward just for fun. Yeah, got your seven right there, honestly. So we're good on defensemen. I'm going to sign uh, Kai Gorodov for sure. So let's grab, yeah, all right, let's, I kind of know what we're after, huh? Some kind of a depth forward. We'll sign Kai Gord. Let me go ahead and sign Kai Gordov right now. Uh, oh, he was right there. Anyway, here he is. Let's sign him. All right, and he'll be in the AHL. And I am, I am also, I'm, I've, I've gone ahead, I'm getting like a three... Three HL coaches, all with A minus or better teaching, so that'll be fine for that. So we'll be okay on that front. And we don't get any new scouts again until next season when the A's will start appearing. So got that going for us. All right, now I still kind of like the idea of Strom. It's a lot of years. I'm not keen on that, but. It's not too bad. We still have Garland. We still have Besser. So, goal score not exactly needed. Strom could be a guy to grab here. He doesn't have the greatest face-off. So, honestly, you could most likely just play him wing and be okay with that. So, let's see what we can get for him out of, like, a three-year deal. Yeah. We'll go six and a half for, like, three years. And that should be good. So, we'll need that. And then we're going to pick up... Someone who could play in the depth or be better. I doubt there's going to be anyone with potential. Oh, hello. Veselainen. Finally, they stopped making a medium elite, huh? <laughs> hmm. He must be tendered. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. Yeah, him and Veseline, I'm like, yeah, they must be tendered. Okay, let's just go by overalls here. I was kind of hoping to grab someone, but no real. All right, so I don't want anyone crazy good. Ganya is not bad, I guess. I don't know. He's a little expensive, but we do need to. We don't have to spend cash, but we can. Let's just grab him two mil. All right, that should be it. That should be just fine there. Sign those three people, including the goaltender. And we'll be good on that front, I believe. Uh, yes, we have. 
Uh, no. Not gonna bother one of the trades right now. I mean, we can keep Myers on the block. He's only got two years left, though. So, doesn't really matter. We can trade him on our own. But right now, we're gonna use him probably in the top two. <laughs> See if he can have a good year. Well, I uh, highly doubt it, but, you know, you never know. Keep advancing some days here. All right, we got Rollison, the assistant to the regional manager. Uh, HL goalie. Come on now. Uh, all right, HL head and HL associate. Did I get everyone? There he is, NHL goalie. There we are. We had an E. <laughs> Literally, a guy rated E for everyone in our NHL goaltender slot. That was bad. Anyway, we're leaving all the rest of the coaches because... Eh, they're not bad or anything. We don't have a ton of young, young talent needing to grow. And there's not really much else here in the way of... I mean, there's one guy who could teach. Forward coach. But that... Mm, we got the rest generalists, so... I don't know. We could fire this guy to melt those two. But I don't, I don't really see the point to that because the only... I mean, we do have Patterson, but he's likely not growing too much more. I mean, 88, 23, like, if he's going to grow, he's going to grow of his own volition, essentially, probably. So, I don't know. I don't know. We don't really need it quite yet. He's really the only one. I can go for it just to go for it, I guess. So, maybe. Maybe I do it, but I'll have to scroll here. <laughs> All right, so we'll fire this guy. Shift everyone else down. I can also maybe see if there's a defensive coach. I doubt there is, though. Yeah, there's not going to be a good one. So, um, yeah, we'll just... Whatever, we'll snag this guy. So, uh-oh, Buffalo interested. Let's hope like hell they don't get him. There we go. All the way to the end. And now he's got an offer. Okay. Hopefully he accepts that because we just did get rid of our coach. <laughs> All right. Let's keep advancing some days here. We got Lankinen. We got Gagne. Uh, Hoaglander accepted the extension. And we got Strom. And Horvat accepted extension. And we got the head coach. So everything worked out here in the offseason. I think that was it, right? That indeed was everything. So we got the team together, we got the roster, we got the coaches, we got Kai Gorinov signed. We're all good, so we're going to sim up here. I'm going to get the lines and stuff uh, taken care of. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so the lines going forward are as follows. We're going to have Pedersen, Horvat, and Besser. Pedersen is going to be on the wing. Um, 79 faceoffs isn't bad. I doubt it improves too much more, even if we play him in the middle. I wanted to try this combination out because it gives us plus five. Doesn't really help Pedersen a whole lot. Although it will boost his awareness a bit, but Horvat and Besser will help a hell of a lot. Holgander, Strom, Garland for the second line. Bailey, Gagne, put Colson, who's listed as fourth line, but I'm playing him third line. Chase on, Patan, and Reeves on the fourth Defensively, Hughes, Myers, Dermot, Pullman, Rathbone, and Juleson, who was actually ready. And he might actually hang around here and, I don't know, be relatively long-term. He's only got 83 awareness, but if he, if he sims well, he sims well, you know? So, it's always kind of something that uh, I keep in mind here. And Dermot, at an 83 now, maybe, maybe someone we hold on to. Not too sure. It, it, it'll it'll depend. It'll depend on like because sometimes I don't know. I'm I'm okay sometimes with having like an 83 or 84 in the top four if they sim well. So Dermot might be someone we actually hang on to. I think back to like Ferraro with the Sharks. All right, power play. Besser, Horvat, Pedersen, Hughes, Strom. We're gonna load up the top one. The second one is not gonna be as good. <laughs> Plain and simple. It's even got minus one chemistry. But what can you do? We're loading up that top one. There's a look at the four man. Jesus. I don't even know. Minus is everywhere. Who cares? Uh, here's a quick look at the penalty kill. Um, Hughes is pretty much playing anywhere and everywhere. As you can see, there's a three man. And the four on four lines, all the defensive pairings will, besides Juleson, we'll give him extra time. Oh, wait, no, we're not. He's in the right spot, I think. Anyway. Um, three on three, same forward pairings Pedersen, Besser, Horvat, Strom, Gagne, Garland. Then Hughes, Dermot, Myers. I don't think... 
Like, I, I would get whole... Yeah, neither of them can take face-offs. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, you know, screw it. Let's just throw Hoaglander in there. <laughs> I changed my mind. I was I was gonna, like, go for face But let's just give him the ice time, right? Yeah. Might as well just give him the ice time. There we go. A little bit extra. Pedersen Hughes is extra attackers. I never, ever changed this anymore. Lincoln is gonna be the backup because... Uh, DPH will still list as minor starter, so... We're gonna go ahead with that. Sutter and Hunt will be uh, the depth options. And there we go. You get a quick look at the AHL. We got no one sitting who has potential. In fact, we only got one guy sitting. It's a defenseman. Jet Wu, Kai Gorodov in there. See how everything goes. All right. So that's that. And you guys have seen all the lines now. Go ahead and make those predictions. We're going to check out contracts once again. We'll see what Dermot's after now. 83... That ain't bad. Let's see. I'll even do. Let's see what he wants for six years. I don't, I will probably won't do anything this long, but I just want to see what the price tags are like. Uh, four three something. Not too bad. That is. It's like four three seven five. Five years. Significantly less here. That'd be four one five for five years. Mm. Kind of tempting. Let's lock. I'm just going to do that. That's not too bad for what he's bringing to the table. I'm going to lock that in. That's not too bad, honestly. Like, it it fills a gap for now, right? It, it's something. It's one less thing that we have to worry about. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Hold on to Travis Dermott. See how he does. All righty. And that should do it there. Other than that, we're good to go here. What do we got in the way of picks this coming here? I'm actually not too sure. I don't think I I don't think I have anything extra. No, we should get, well, I got a couple threes, a couple fours, but we don't have any other early picks. We could sell at whatever point. We'll see. Is there anything I want to sell now? Probably not. Maybe we trade at draft. That might because we don't. I don't even think we have any expiring deals this season. Uh, Hor Horvath's extended. Besser is... Oh, yeah, well... I mean, you could trade Besser if things don't work out, I guess. But kind of looking to maybe hold on to him. Yeah, we don't have it. Everything that we would trade is essentially... Uh, guys we could trade at the draft, most likely. So, I mean, we could even trade Besser at the draft if we wanted to. He's got that RFA status, right? So... Alright. Let's, uh, let's just get Sim in here. And see what we can see. See how this team does. I'm actually not too sure. <laughs> I like if we just signed Strom and they put him on my freaking trade block. How dare you. We're going to wait to see if we can get him stat growth before we trade him. I know he's on the second line right now. But I did want to try out this plus five chemistry. Just see if we could have that line go nuts. And that'll help me really kind of dictate whether or not I'm going to keep around uh, Besser, obviously. Strom battled through a minor injury. All right, we had a pretty good preseason. We'll see what that means for our regular season. Who the hell knows? Let the auto scout get to work. Three and two to start off. Not too bad. Yeah, we're okay. I don't... We might be a good team. I don't know. I really like... We have a pretty decent lineup and a good goaltender. It's like, I'm not trying to tank it. I, I would be okay with it. But it we, looks like we're going to be a playoff team again. So, there's that. <laughs> it absolutely does, man. I highly doubt... Oh, we're, yeah, 15-5-2 start, dude. Yeah, we're going to be trading at that draft, most likely. Kind of interested to see what our stats are like. 259, 214. Like, that's not sustainable with the record. We're getting kind of lucky right now. Power play is actually awful. Penalty kill is good. Yeah, this doesn't seem sustainable. We'd need more scoring here. I'll give it another month with this combination, I think. But we're going to want him. Oh, Besser. Not a good start for Brock at all. Hoaglander's friggin'. 
blowing him out of the water goal scoring wise. Besser doesn't even have a power play goal, dude. Doesn't even have a power play point. <laughs> really thought that a uh, plus five power play would, would be able to do something here. I'll, again, I'll, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm, I'll give it another month here. If we continue as we are with the goals for, goals against, we should not be able to sustain the record that we're having right now. Right? Like, that shouldn't be possible, but we'll see. Zach Fukal on waivers. Don't need a goaltender. Let's check out the draft class. <laughs> what you talking about? All right. Um, here we go. We can actually. I'm gonna. Even though I know, like, even though there's members here, we're gonna you use scouting on him anyway, of course. Damn, son. Not a whole lot that we were able to take a look at here. I do want to get a, a bunch of the first round done as much as I can because we'll probably have a mid to late pick in the first round. Which may not be bad, but it's not going to be as good as it was last year. So, yes, yeah, isn't that great? I'm just going to go to freaking... Well, <laughs> enough of it will get scouted, right? So we think, so we say. God damn it. Not a whole lot of help here. So many of them are already being scouted. This guy, I'm lucky if he's even a top six, top four, with the way he, with where he's at in the draft. I guess we'll find out though. Do I have a scout named Kaigorodov? I think I do. I think I just saw that pop up on that guy. A lot of Kaigorodovs. And we'll go go from crashing my game to being a big, big part of it. Why am I scouting this guy? He's real. Damn it. I clicked. Wow. Okay. Uh, Lowe's here. Jeez. Not even... Oh my goodness. This could be shit. <laughs> this could be real shit. This might be all about quality. I mean, probably. It's looking that way. Okay. Well, I'm guessing I'm scouting this guy anyway. Skipped him last time, but at this point, I need all the info I can get. Holy... Yeah, this isn't looking great. <laughs> Not looking too good here. We're likely going to have to pick up forwards. That's kind of the main... Our main need right now. We have three solid defensemen. Plus, you have Travis Dermott. Like, theoretically, your top four is... You technically already have it. Depending on how Kai Gordov, Benoit, and whatnot. How they come along. Oh, man. We did get lucky with a medium elite last season. Speaking of which, we do have... Uh, that goaltender we picked up who can be trade value. Who likely will be. That's another reason we also want to kind of turn around as quickly as possible to capitalize on Demko's good years. He's about to enter his prime. Like, we're in really, really good shape. As long as we can start having, like, really good years, which we should be able to do. But we're kind of still retooling right now. God damn, this is whack. This guy's at least maybe a chance to be a medium elite, but holy crap, not a whole lot of help here. Whatsoever. Yeesh. All right, we're already done with the AHLs. Okay. Well, two shutouts in a row, and looks like we may be turning things around. Okay, I guess the record will be sustainable if we start scoring like this. Holy shit. That's all we need to do is start scoring well, and we're seeming to kind of figure it out here. Okay, 26, 8, and 2. <laughs> First in the Pacific. Not even trying to win yet. Quinn Hughes is freaking killing it. Good job, buddy. I'm just going to check all the stats because I'm here. 3, 3, no Oh, wait, no, it's not us. Yeah, here we go. Holy fuck. 3, 2, 8, 2, 3, 9. <laughs> yeah, see, we, I, one of, something had to give. Our goals 4 went up. Power play started producing. I'm glad I didn't change it. Penalty kill got a bit worse. We do have 7 shorties 4 already. Holy hell, we have allowed a shorty. Get good. Okay, uh, Quinn Hughes dominating so far. Uh, Hoaglander, actually. So, Hoaglander, then Pedersen, 31-30. Strong with 30. That's good for us. He could get some stack growth. That's a guy who we could flip. Horvat, Garland, Gagne, Besser. Not bad. Not bad by any means. Besser needs to do a lot better. But this is actually good for us. It'll make any extension that we choose to give him like a lot better, but also... He is shooting a lot. 
That is good. He, he does shoot a lot, so that's good for us. He's just a he has a good shot. He just needs to bury it. Put Coles in, not bad. 17 points and 36. Just under uh, 0.5 points per game. Not great by any means, but not horrible. And then Hughes is just kicking ass. Almost point per game as a defenseman. And I didn't check this last time, but here we go. Demko is crushing. Lanking in. He's got the points. Doing okay. Not great numbers, but he's got the points I want out of the games played. So, what else do you want? Demko has five shutouts. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we just fucking load up. I don't know. But how the hell do we buy? Picks? Yeah, but yeah, but then it's like, ah, what do you even grab? Like a def eh. Who knows, man? Who knows? Oh, I should check progress sports. That's the main reason I usually stop here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Hoaglander, that's stat growth, okay. Paton, also stat. Quinn, stat, okay, mostly stat by the looks of it. Uh, Yakupov has grown, that's good for us. This is the guy we, this is the medium elite that we got, right? Yeah, I believe so, at the third round. Jack or Marlowe's grown by five overall, that's massive, good. Uh, Gaucher has grown, decent little chunk there. Henry Kaigordov is at 79 now, listed as depth. That's incredible early on. Benoit's growing a little bit. Not a ton, but he's growing. That's the most important thing, and it's early on. It's actually really good that these guys are growing the way they are. This is giving me a lot of hope here for quick turnarounds. Like, Jagger Marlowe and could be ready next year if he keeps on that pace. Benoit will take at least another year, but to be it safe, probably Benoit and Marlowe in two years. Gaucher is going to take longer. Kaigordov is going to be ready next year, if not... He'll get some time this year. More than likely, that'll be the case. Hedberg's grown even. That starter guy we picked up. Pretty much everyone's grown. Saprikin is the goaltender we picked up. And he's grown from 47 to 51. We're missing no one. Okay, Jet Wu. <laughs> well, that's fine. Hopefully, he can at least get to top six. He's got X factors, which is very, very rare. X factors for someone who like is kind of borderline NHL. That could be good for us. That'll help us with chemistry in the bottom six if he can get there, which he should be able to. But he does need to grow. Other than that, this is all real, real good. Yeah, this is very, very solid start here. Good growth, great record, obviously. So all the way to the deadline we go. I mean, no other reason to mess around, man. All the way up. So hope we can continue. Pullman's injured, so we'll have uh, uh, Hunt step in. Yeah, minus whatever. Don't care. More wins, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> a broken hand. What did he do? Lose a glove and then try to catch a puck? Fuck, man. February 10th. Well. Neither of them have to clear waivers, so we might as well bring up DiPietro. He doesn't have to clear waivers. So let's give him some good split time here with Lincoln. And Damn, man, that sucks. <laughs> that absolutely sucks. And this Luneman guy go in. All right, continuing on here. Uh, Bogosian on. What the hell? He's still in this game? I guess he does still play. I, I just forget. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, he's in Tampa. Isn't he on like a three-year league minimum or something crazy like that? Uh, anyway, no, I'm not going to claim him. Pullman's fully healed. Let's get him back in there. Probably no minus on here. Yeah, there's no minus anyway. Hunt, you got a goal in those four games and a plus one. Good for you. But Pullman going back in. Because it's working. All right, a few losses here. Definitely missing Thatcher, but we need a score. Give him, give him some goal support. All right. Well, that's a pretty good here. We're getting a decent chunk of goals, but the defense and goaltending is surprisingly really good. All right. We're going to do some scouting real quick. All right. Continuing on here with, uh, again, this really, really good season. I Wait. Was he actually out? Um, no. No, he wasn't. Um, I was listed as top six. I'm going to put him up here. Can I get better chemistry? No. All right. 
Anyway, while I'm there, might as well give him some more ice time here. He's now listed as top six, so I should probably just call him up at some point. Maybe. Anyway, Thatcher Demko fully healed. Good for us. Let's get him back in there. Lincoln is doing pretty good. DiPietro exceptionally well. Good for you. Thank you. Back in you go, Thatcher. And we got a roster move. Send down to DiPietro. Get him back. In his HL. Jamon. There we are. And we go. Alright. Continue. Wait a sec. I'm on the I'm stuck on the HL. Get out of here. Ah! The hell was that? Anyway, that screen scared me. Well, did I find a new crash? That would have been bad. Uh Klimovich. I have to be a defenseman hopping in because that's all we have for depth. Lol. Oof. Phillies fired their coach. Klimovich is already back, or Klimovich, who knows. Back in you go. Nice shutout. Two in a row. <laughs> Good God. Tucker Pullman out again. I think that was just a mild concussion, however, so... Whatever, it'll keep Hunt slightly happier. Being able to get some ice time. Another win. I would just like to say that without trying, I'm hitting the records that I kind of struggled to get when we have elite-ass teams, so love, love to see it. 44-14-4, uh, and four. that's a hell of a lot of fours. 44-14-4 <laughs> and four here at the deadline. <laughs> without trying... Not like we tried to put together an incredible team, man. We got, we got a nine-point lead. Oh, my God. We're going to win the President's Trophy. We have a nine-point lead on the rest of the fucking NHL. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. This game's fine. Why even do anything? Like, why, why do we even... Let's just, just stick with the roster you got. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, 3-4-2, 2.4. Yeah, we got, a, we got an above-one ratio, which is amazing. Almost 25% on the power play, which is hilariously amazing. Not a bad penalty kill. Let's actually see how we stack up to the rest of the league here, as we are the league leaders. We might see ourselves... Okay, top offensive team just by a hair. Us in Vancouver, margin of error. Defense. Hey, look at that, top defensive team. <laughs> power play. Second best power play. Penalty kill. Just outside of the top five. Holy shit, what is this? <laughs> Oh, God. Vancouver, not even trying, and we're good. As We did start with a pretty decent core. I mean, that does help. But, man, is it a cup-winning team? It might be a little bit tough. You never know. 57 points for Horvath. 50, wow, Besser got good. 52 for Besser, 52 for Pedersen, Strom, 46. Ooh, they slacked. Hoaglander, 45. Gagne, Garland. Yeah, some guys were slacking. That sucks for Strom. But I guess it couldn't sustain that long. But do you break up that first line? Probably not. So, Strom, we got more opportunity to get him some stack growth. So, he's on pace for, like, 50, 60 points, maybe. Which isn't great. So, it's not likely stack. If he stayed on the pace he was on before, like, he could have. But, whatever. But, Colson should hit 40 points. He's now at .5 points per game. So, that's not a bad rookie year by any means. Has he grown, though? No, yeah. Well, he's listed as third line now. But, yeah, definitely needs to grow. We'll see. Hughes, what a season. Definitely in the running for Norris. He might might indeed win it. And Demko's got to be in the running for everything. <laughs> William M. Jennings, Vesna. Damn. Yeah. Really, really solid. Yeah, despite the injury, man. Unfortunate as that was. But this is really, really solid, and here we are, dude. It's like, yeah. Like, in this situation, you're almost like, hey, do we add? Like, I don't... Why? Like, what's the point? We're just... We're crushing the sim, obviously, so something's going right. A lot of it has to do with Thatcher Demko, but we're also scoring. So, it's like, we have a potent offense in Thatcher Demko. And that's kind of the recipe for success. I wouldn't consider our bottom six or our defensive core to be absolutely shut down. But it's working right now. So it's like, why would we spend ass spend assets to grab stuff when our goal right now isn't even to win the cup? This is an added bonus. Our goal right now is to, you know, to build a solid core to win for sustained success. 
And we have, you know, a decent chunk of it right now, but I still I still feel like we need some more. We need some more forwards, man. When you look at this, like, I, it, I, this isn't sustainable success, success. It's not, this is not sustainable. So, capitalizing on the momentum we have right now may not be the best thing for the long term. Like, you look at a guy like Garland, pretty team-friendly deal, but when that's up, like, and again, he's easily more easily replaceable besser could honestly keep him around as a second liner maybe we do that depends on what the hell's going on let's see what he wants for his uh extension he doesn't want one see there you go <laughs> brock besser doesn't want to come back for whatever the fucking reason who knows who knows why well there you go see there's curveballs constantly so maybe brock besser doesn't want to come back maybe we do have to trade him at the draft I, 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 maybe, I, that gives us a goddamn, ex I wouldn't want to say excuse, but that's a really good freaking reason to trade him now, instead of dealing with him, yes, we can afford him, but, like, if it gets us, you know, some more younger guys, younger than him, they could plan for, you know, some of that long, long, long-term success, get him as early as possible, you know, we could essentially be done with the retool after this next draft, we can have really all the kind of pieces that we need to solidify ourselves, because think about it, Let's just take a look at this team and what we have right now. Forward end of things, you got, I'm going to go by values. We got Elias Pettersson. We got Jagger Marlowe. Uh, Horvat, which will likely be a 3C. We're going to have Gaucher, who's now up to 73 overall. Uh, that's a huge jump. We're going to check growth in a set because that's amazing. So there you go. There's You got four guys. Oh, Yakupov's a big, big question mark. Strom. Like, you still need pieces. You got Pettersson. You got, you know... Gaucher, Marlowe, that's like a line, but they likely won't even be playing together. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, Horvat's going to likely be your 3C at some point. You could jump between second, third line until he's ready. Garland, again, maybe not necessarily long term. You can hold on to him. I think he's a guy who hold on to try to get him some stack growth. But the way Besser's going, we may have to trade him. Besser could be a guy you trade. You know, you got Hoaglander. I think I want to hold on to him to be part of that third line. We did lock him into a pretty good deal. Right? Like, so there's your base baseline for your third line of Hoagland or Horvat. Put Colson, not too sure where he's going to go yet. Again, it's a power forward. Gaucher is a power forward. S depends on what we can find in the draft and whether these guys are going to be, you know, top, top uh, things to hold on to. But put Colson, second line tops. Like, maybe third liner. Can he play well on that third line with a Hoaglander? And doesn't have the greatest offense. Hoaglander and Horvat. Who knows? Like, there's a lot of things up in the air. But defensively, you got Hughes, Kai Gordov. Who's uh, should slide in nicely? Either top th uh, two or top four. Benoit, who's, I mean, your likely guy that you want paired next to Hughes, but you got options. There's you got three, and then you still have Dermot, right? You got Jet Wu in the bank. Juleson's gonna cap out. Like we're we got some stuff. It's mostly forwards that we need. I th I'd say our defensive core right now. We like we need one piece in the top four. But we don't necessarily have to draft it, right? And then you have Thatcher Demko, who's right now 27. It's that time. You can't wait too much longer to keep drafting, keep developing. It's like this This next draft is really the last one we're going to go heavy in. And then it's all about going in. We have to capitalize on Demko's window. Demko is essentially, he's the catalyst. So he's now in his prime. He's the guy we're going to put the run on. We essentially have eight years. I'd say six, seven, eight years. Somewhere between there. That's our window to win cups with Demko and that's exactly what we're gonna try to do so all right guys that'll be it uh let me know what you think of the deadline uh we could we could you know trade some minimal stuff for some draft picks but eh, I don't know if we'd super super go in but you guys may have a different idea and some stuff to look at so let me know what you think hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one